Good morning, welcome to this vlog. I just got to the gym. Oh, okay. As you can tell, I have not had my morning coffee here. I am feeling quite sleepy from this weekend since I just got back yesterday. Well, actually two nights ago, really late, um, from Sydney's wedding, but then stayed the night in Boston, with Lucy and Taylor, since we flew into Boston, and then yesterday afternoon, made our way back to the Cape. So, I'm feeling sleepy, <laughs> especially from the wedding, just kind of like worn out. Weddings are so much fun, but I feel like you just barely ever sleep, and it's just like go, 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 and so social and so fun, but getting back into the swing of things today, I'm shocked I was able to pry myself out of bed at like 6.45. I don't know how I did my alarm went off and I was like, get up and go Gretchen, you can do it. You're getting back into routine. And I didn't even show, but I did a little bar class at seven o'clock at home, just chase bar. And then walked Brody, planned my little schedule a little bit. It feels good to just be like, okay, to do like the calendar, like get back into it set. I've been like all over the place so this week we're just gonna be yeah back in routine accomplishing things because this weekend I'm gonna have some family visit my aunt my cousin my mom my sister so little girls weekend that'll be fun but yeah for now getting it back together guys literally Sydney's wedding was so much fun I had literally the best time and I think she's one of my, like one of the first weddings I've been to where it's like one of my close friends getting married so it was just so much fun and I was crying on the way home having post wedding blues and it wasn't even my wedding and it was just a blast but now I also get the difference between being a wedding guest versus being in a wedding because it was my first time being in a wedding and it was so much fun like being a part of it definitely takes more like wedding day I'm used to getting there at like 5 and it's just the evening but I'm like oh no 7am hair makeup like you kind of have your full day but it was literally a blast like it was just perfect and I was gonna say I wouldn't change a thing Sydney said she wouldn't have changed a thing I wouldn't have either it was like perfect it was just amazing and it honestly helped me I was shocked because I'm someone that like sobs at every wedding uncontrollably and appropriately I like see the bride and I'm like this is like one of the happiest days of their lives I'm just like such an emotional Pisces but I actually think being in the wedding helped me like seeing Sydney get ready I was more like desensitized to it by the time she walked down the aisle because I was like okay I was like a little emotional seeing her all hair and makeup and then like when we did our first look with her putting on her dress I was like okay I'm all emotional but I was like used to already like how she looked in the dress I'm like okay Carson like prepare yourself you're gonna be emotional down the aisle and like even me walking down the aisle as like a bridesmaid I was like okay but so I feel like by the time she walked down the aisle I was like okay I've spent like all day with her this isn't like the first time I'm seeing her you know so it was kind of better but since they did their vows during their ceremony I was just like okay hey, can't look at Jay he's really emotional and crying and once I look at him I'm gonna keep crying so yeah it was like so emotional but so special that was that and we're back and I'm procrastinating going into the gym we're just gonna walk a little get some steps in go to the grocery after I think also what motivated me to get out of bed sorry we're just like talking here for a second <laughs> I'm procrastinating going to the gym what motivated me to get out of bed was that I knew it's gonna be nice and sunny today and I think it's gonna rain literally every other day the rest of this week and I'm like I gotta get up, accomplish my things, like plan out my schedule, workout, gym, grocery, errands, so that I can get back and lay in the sun in the afternoon and have some time. It's literally the only thing that, that's my biggest life hack I've learned this summer is suddenly I can wake up early when I know if I have to accomplish a certain amount of things. I wanna lay in the sun, so I gotta get up early to do all of that so that I can lay in the sun in the afternoon. Does anyone else do that? Anyway, I feel like I have so much to say, but we'll, this vlog will keep going. I'm like, I feel like I have more to talk to you about, but we're gonna go to the gym. See you after. I'm so excited we're out of oat milk, and I'm so excited to get oat milk and make my coffee at home. That's another reason that like got me out of it. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get my day going so I can get my oat milk and make my ice milk all day. <laughs> Also, I was just thinking, I've missed you. I've missed vlogging. I feel like I've been vlogging less or like haven't vlogged in a week. Like I've had periods of time where I haven't vlogged. Like I didn't vlog wedding weekend at all because it was just busy, 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 social. And 
Yeah. You know, while we're at it, let's heat this thing up. Doesn't really need to, but I remember when I first learned about how to use my espresso machine, it said if you can turn it on a little bit before to like heat it up, I don't know, it can make the espresso taste better. Probably doesn't really make a difference. I feel like if I have it on for a little while or just turn it on, I don't notice the difference. Anyway, okay, my last thought before we spit the grocery haul is I was just thinking how it's such a shame when you have your hair wash night, like I washed my hair last night, post wedding hair, I had all sorts of product in it, and then I just went and was all sweaty this morning on the treadmill, just swapped on incline for a bit, but then it's like, you know, anyway, don't you hate when that happens? But then if you want to be like consistently working out, and there's like never a good time, and I want to like lay in the sun, it's probably gonna get all like ugh and sunscreen, you know? Anyway, okay, let's go with the grocery haul. I broke the number one rule. I have two of these yellow bags, which is grocery shopping while I'm hungry. <laughs> so it definitely ended up with more than it was on my list. Rapid fire. Max requested everything bagels. So he got everything bagels. Spinach. Our favorite. I got two of these because they're so good. Lemon pepper marinated chicken, some steak tips. We actually like the maple bourbon marinated ones, but they didn't have those today, just the teriyaki. So grab that. Oh, boom. Oh, and it's right here. So I'm about to make one for my ice vanilla latte. We fly through them. So I got two. Honestly, honestly, I should start getting like three at a time because we drink so much of it. We love those. Okay, see, this is not on my list. This is so niche, but I have. <laughs> I'm about to eat this too. I'm having a lot going on. Half of a little caprese, like focaccia, uh, what's it called? Basil, pesto, tomato, mozzarella, little panini thing from yesterday. And I was thinking, that would be good if I added chicken to it. But I don't feel like cooking chicken. So then I was like, I'm gonna get like sliced deli chicken <laughs> to go on that. This I think is oven roasted chicken. Is this like rotisserie chicken? I don't know. Yeah, so we're gonna try that out. Hopefully that's good, I never really get that. Okay, bananas. Oh, this I got almond milk, because I've been doing like smoothies and acai bowls, stuff like that. And a little yogurt, too good, I like that kind. I think it tastes really good. I actually think I got two of those, because I go through that quick too. Also got two cartons of eggs, we eat a lot of this. I was thinking while I was in there, I think I just couldn't find the second for it, that like bacon or turkey bacon sounded really good, but I couldn't find where it was, so I'm gonna get that. Uh, oh yeah, here's the other yogurt, two of those, like I said. Got our fruit, some strawberries, some raspberries, my fave. See, these are not on my list, dates, but I miss them, I haven't had these in a minute. Like a date with peanut butter snack, it's just so good. Then we got some tomatoes. Something about laying in the sun and having some cut up watermelon is just like in the summertime. So, grab some cut up watermelon. Since we got a sunny day, I gotta get out there. Some goat cheese, cause I was thinking about how. I got spinach, strawberries, like a spinach, strawberry, walnut, goat cheese salad is so good. So grab some goat cheese. I grabbed, you know, I put these in one bag, which is funny because they look almost the same. One zucchini and one cucumber. They're both huge. So got a zucchini and a cucumber. Then some butter. We are out of that. Some hummus. This Ithaca red pepper hummus is our fave. Some marinated little mozzarella balls. I blame TikTok, you guys. I just saw this video this girl was doing. These with like little cut up. Did I show these? Little baby tomatoes. These, this, as you can tell, I like love this caprese kind of stuff. Like probably some basil, some balsamic glaze, some chicken, some cucumber, just all thrown in a bowl as like a salad, but without even any lettuce. And I'm like, wait, that looks so good. I want to try that. So I got that. These also were just calling my name and some food great. This one I've had before, this one I haven't. This is just chicken salad. I love chicken salad in my chicken salad era. Probably better if you make it homemade than buy it packaged, but this is like a cranberry walnut. It's like my favorite kind. And then this says buffalo style chicken salad. Like, yum. So I thought this one was really good too. Last but not least, some green beans. And that is a grocery haul. That will probably last us like the whole week. At least I hope because it's kind of like a lot going on. But since we were away, we had like nothing, you know, like barely anything at all.
But good luck. Yum. You guys, this is such a good one. Look how frothy and delicious. Okay, I literally never do it in this order. I don't know why. But I just did the oat milk, some vanilla, and ice. This looks so funny. It just looks like a cup of like iced milk. But I'm going to put the espresso in last. I wonder if it's gonna taste any different that I did it in a different order. Probably not. I feel like I always see coffee shops doing this when they make it. They will do like a cup of ice, add the milk, and then they do the espresso at the very end. Wow, that looks good. Why is it looking like dark than normal? Maybe because I changed my order? I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Maybe I didn't do as much milk as I normally do? I don't know. It's still looking pretty good to me. Add a little more milk, it's perfect. Mm, 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 mm. Brody, come here. You want to go outside? You love to tan with me, don't you? Look at his little face. You want to go outside and lay in the sun? He's trying to go on that patio right now. We're going to go out back and lay in the sun. Okay, I'm very naked right now, but I just thought I would mention for quick before I go lay in the sun. I feel like, well, more so like in person, all my friends are like, Gretchen, you're looking so tan. And first of all, I try to get out in the sun as much as I can. I'm like, I'm putting in the work. Brody, come on, come here, we're gonna go outside. Also, I just put on self tan before the wedding too, but my hack is, cause I feel like I never have tan lines and stuff, I'll do like, this is very naked little bikini cause I try to do really like skinny, kind of strapless one. Like this, I always I have this in like a light green that I always wear and I just ordered this in black on our ball so I can link this for you guys. This is my tanning hack, how to get tan. Like a skimpy little bottom, these are like yanked up high. And top, and then, yeah, because the bandeau straight across, then you'll have it like straight line across, but this gets like really skinny in between. So this is how I minimize tan lines and get a nice little tan going. Can look for you guys. Okay, Brody, come on. We're going outside. Let's go. You guys, he just loves to bask in the sun with me. You are your mother's puppy, huh? <laughs> King comfy? Oh yeah. <laughs> I put Brody up in the shade, you guys, up there. He is getting so hot. He likes to lay right there and just bake on the stones. I'm like, okay, let's get you in the shade. You guys, I just jumped in the outdoor shower because it's so hot out. You can see, I just had to like rinse off for a sec. And I'm listening to what we said podcast. Life is good. It's later, you guys. Showered in the normal outfit. A lot of days I'll just put on like a sweatshirt and sweatpants if I do feel better than putting on a little bit of normal clothes. I got this great shirt and white lamp pants from Aritzia. I can look for you guys. They've been my faves. If you saw my haul, if you didn't, you should go watch because I got the cutest new pieces. Anyway, got my LaCroix going. Limoncello, of course. Ah, oh, the best kind. Mm hmm I wish I put on my ring. I feel sad when I don't put on my ring after I like shower and put on an outfit for the day, but... You hate. <laughs> But it's honestly good that I don't because we're about to do some projects. Some home projects. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, what came, you guys? Woo! -hoo. Little Serena and Lily box. A wallpaper that I ordered. You know, I could have done a little bit more research. This is either going to be really good or really bad. And quick and easy or not quick and easy at all. We shall see. Basically, I've had this great idea for a while. Okay, I can already tell this is gonna be cute. This is a great idea. Woo! Have this great idea to start doing some wallpaper in our house. I just feel like it's very coastal, very beachy, very, what do they call it? Coastal grandmother core, adorable. We love it. And I did their little calculator on Serena and Lily's website, which by the way, I really hope Please, please that this goes well and I don't mess it up because I was telling Max these are kind of like expensive. I'm like it's literally just paper. But this is the kind that you do at home, I believe. Peel and stick, removable. I really hope this is like the sticky kind. This says Sky Priano, I think that's the name of this one. Removable wallpaper. Peel and stick. Oh my god, okay. Because they had like the regular kind, but then they have this kind. But isn't this blue and white so cute and like Cape Cod and I just feel like very simple. Won't get sick of it, but still some color in this neutral oasis. Thought this would be good to start here 
in our smallest guest bedroom to just do along like the back wall behind the bed I'll bring you guys along show the process um just to start there and i do want to do some wallpaper in like bathrooms and stuff just for fun make it fun and funky but i thought this would be good to start here you know what i'm also realizing honey is those blue sheets in there the floral sheets yep. are they now going to clash no. with the wallpaper nah. or will they all go with i guess it's pretty similar i wasn't really thinking about it we have like plain white ones we could always swap it out with or do like a plain light blue sheet right. or something but i thought this would be fun i gotta read the directions of how to do it i should have watched like some youtube videos but i'm just gonna read their directions that it said online and hopefully it works out hopefully i calculated the right amount i measured the wall by myself so do you know that i did that yeah should have had your help but i measured out my own i'm sure it's close enough it's gonna be great let's give it a try Hi. <laughs> Already proving to be a little bit more challenging. We're taking these outlet covers off and hopefully that makes it a little easier. Cause we were like, oh, it has to go kind of around the outlets. But this way, if it can get yellow yeah, closer, then it'll look a little more seamless hopefully. Should have hired a task rabbit. <laughs> you gotta be kinda on the on the bottom holding it pretty tight. Okay, I'm pulling down. And you're like lower, lower. Okay, but how are you getting it off the back? I'm gonna peel it right now. Can you try to press it to the end a little? I feel like this should just go straight against the side. But over top it can go. I feel like that's easy to get it all the way flat against the side. I'm trying. See what you just said? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Come on. Tell them what you said, your lesson oh. in wallpaper. You distracted me. <laughs> what did you do? I kind of dipped, dipped a little lower, I think. <laughs> okay, my battery's dying. I gotta be very careful. Oh. <laughs> Even cut out the little socket. Oh, don't get how wrinkled it is. No! Yeah. <laughs> Credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in life is perfect, neither should our wallpaper. <laughs> Say how you said before. You looked at me, you said, we'll always look in here and think. Yep. And say, hey. We did that. We did that together. And Nothing in this life is perfect. <laughs> so neither should our wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we have run into so many issues. But like, you really can't tell to oh don't look at the bubbles do not look don't at look the at bubbles the we're also getting lazy towards behind the bed because i know it'll be covered behind the bed so <laughs> this project nearly killed us you guys i don't think i can do the night i know i know we can do tomorrow in the great american bar scene oh it was terrible and <laughs> I was saying before, I really wish I posted my Instagram story saying. Well, I could have told you. Guys, how hard is it? It looks like crap. It looks so bad. It said it looks like wrapping paper. It's all wrinkled. We went from worse to worser. Like you honestly can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell from far From far away. <laughs> uh, seen a couple wrinkles. Gosh, you guys. But luckily, the, oh no, the print itself is kind of like, so. It's kind of like what? It's like a little, so you can't tell too much. But yeah, I, was saying, I really wish I posted my Instagram story being like, how hard is it for you guys to talk some sense to me? Be like, no, hire someone. But I'm like, we could handle a little, don't even, do not even look over there. It's like we can handle a little house project. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is a gloomy day. I could not get out of bed. I think I told you how I knew yesterday was going to be the old day, sunny day. So I got up early, got outside. Complete opposite today. It was like cloudy and rainy, and I was like, I'm not getting up. <laughs> but thank goodness, got Brody out for a nice walk before it really started to rain and made my little coffee 
and mm, I literally, oh, I was so lazy this morning. I didn't even make my bed. We gotta run back upstairs. I gotta make my bed. That's so bad. I always like make it first thing. It's like a pile of blankets right now. Cause I roll out of bed. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get up and get the day going. Walk, coffee, <laughs> but let's go do that. Wait, I knew I was forgetting something. Last night, the wallpaper was a hundred times harder than we thought. I think it kind of looks like crap. <laughs> it looks crappy. It looks like wrapping paper. We will revisit that because I thought those were gonna take an hour and that we were gonna put together cute little night scenes we got to go in there as well because the ones that are in there, I don't think I showed you guys, I don't think I ever actually told you, maybe I did. Um, They never matched and it's always driven me nuts and like no one really notices or at least no one tells me, but yeah, so I wanted like nice new fresh ones in there with the wallpaper, but that was like so exhausting. So we're gonna pick that back up later when Max gets home with the nightstands, maybe try to iron out some of, the, some of the bumps and bubbles and such but yeah updates to come later i can't even think about it right now it was like the most aggravating thing <laughs> okay wait a second you guys when i just walked up the stairs and like glanced over i'm like wait a second from afar it looks good like i think that's looking wait okay okay I'm feeling better. It's giving coastal grandmother core, adorable Cape Cod. Hopefully that's what it's giving. I don't even wanna show you. Okay, yeah, you uh, see, when it's like kind of like a dim light like this, okay, now you can see. Like I feel like these look similar. I feel like it doesn't look as bad. This is more of like a gray wickery wood and this is like a tan, but I really notice a difference. And basically, when I ordered them when we first got this house, it was like natural variation in the two. I think it's completely two different colors, but it's what it is. So, they drive me nuts, um, but they are really cute. They just don't match, so that's why we're going to swap those out. Okay, see, with this off, from far away, I'm not hating. <laughs> I'm literally chugging this. Okay. Look, we decided to come back to bed. Oh, you guys, most days, I'm not even kidding. I bring Brody on a walk. We come in, I'm like, can I interest you in some kibble? How about a bowl of water? Normally he's panting a lot, even after a short walk. He's very lazy. He looks at me and he goes running up the stairs and he either comes back, lays in this bed or the other beds. And I'm like, you are literally the laziest cat. You just want to sleep all day like a kitty. And I always force him out of bed in the morning and I say, come on, it's time for some movement. You can do it, sweet prince. <laughs> Are you snuggled back in bed? Okay, why don't we at least make the bed? And we'll feel better, huh? This is so bad that I left this like this. Does anyone else? <laughs> this is definitely controversial of me. I could see some of you being like, no, Gretchen, that is such a red flag. Sometimes I wore my PJs once last night. <laughs> I'm being so real right now. Sometimes I just kind of tuck them in between my pillows because I know I'm gonna wear them again tonight. Does anyone else like put their PJs in their bed? <laughs> Why am I like embarrassed to admit that right now? <laughs> it's really funny. Somehow Max's pillows always get like crazy when he sleeps. And I feel like the pillowcases get all twisty turny. I'm like, what are you doing in your sleep? He must like hold them weird with his arms. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Doesn't even care. <laughs> like sometimes we fully will make the bed around him. He'll just be covered. He doesn't move an inch. He doesn't mind at all. <laughs> so unbothered. Oh, I just love you. I just want to squeeze you. <laughs> Are you done putting up with me? Are you done with my crap? Okay, are you guys team top sheet or no top sheet? I think I'm actually team no top sheet, just makes making the bed a lot easier. But sometimes we have one, sometimes we don't, in all honesty. <laughs> I'm just being so real today. In all honesty, <laughs> I usually will only do a top sheet when I don't, when I wanna switch my sheets, but I don't feel like taking off the duvet cover and washing it and putting it back on because that's like so much harder than just doing top sheet, bottom sheet pillowcases, if you guys know what I mean. Because the duvet, oh sorry buddy, the duvet cover is like a whole situation to 
unbutton, take all the way off, whatever. Oh, see, there's only dirt from him down at the bottom. Of it. So like probably last time, whenever I did the sheets, I probably didn't wash the cover of this. So then I just put on a top sheet. Lazy girl, life hack. I'm gonna do that once in a while. Like this next time I'll be like, okay, let's wash the whole kit and caboodle. Okay, sorry. I'm feeling jazzed, if you can tell, since I just had my coffee. So I'm yapping. I'm yapping away. Wow, it's dark in here from being so freaking cloudy and rainy outside. Okay. We do the little flip. I love doing this. And then and sometimes I like fold that over again. That's looking okay. I'm okay with that. Because then do my little decorative pillows. Cute. Cute, okay. Then, I don't know why I'm now giving you a bed making tutorial. I have like a big beige thing I put at the bottom, but currently a bunch of my clothes are on top of it. And I don't feel like moving the clothes, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Voila, she's made. Oh, this is looking comfy and puffy, this duvet right now. I think I'll just get back in bed. Oh, no, it's really raining. That's what's so bad about working from home is when it's like raining and my bed's looking cozy. I'm like, wait, <laughs> I just wanna, I'll just work from bed and you get nothing done. <laughs> Look who's back. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Like I said, I would love to jump right on in with you. I get it. Guys, we have the comfiest bed ever, as you can see, but especially because of our Helix Sleep mattress. Thank you so much, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring this video. You guys didn't know, didn't remember. They're our favorite mattresses ever. We have them in our guest rooms as well. And we've actually had our Helix Sleep Midnight Lux mattress since fall of 2020, so almost four years now, which is actually crazy. Time flies. But basically, Helix Sleep has a sleep quiz that matches your sleep references to the perfect matches for you. So Max and I, I'm sure just put in that we sleep on our side, since we're both side sleepers, prefer a medium feel, and that's what we've got matched with, our Helix Sleep Midnight Lux. And it's literally the comfiest bed in the whole my world it gets shipped for free right to your door like vacuum packed so setup is really easy i always put in footage of whenever we open one here at our house on the cape also had one this past hockey season in new york that we've opened so anyway <laughs> i have all i love looking back at all the footage all those like different times we were getting our matches but helix sleep actually offers a 100 night sleep trial to make sure you love your new mattress which i'm certain you will they also have a 10 year warranty on all their mattresses and flexible payment plans and financing options you guys will literally be obsessed with your new mattress especially if you're one of those dms that i get that's like wait a minute what's that mattress brand you love again where are your favorite mattresses from Helix Sleep. I've gotten like rave reviews from you guys hearing me being like, oh my gosh, I finally took your advice or I was moving as the market for a new mattress and literally best sleep of my life. I have never fallen asleep quicker, stayed asleep easier and I completely agree. Like whenever I'm anywhere else, I wish that I was back home. My Helix Sleep mattress. So the Helix Sleep linked down below in the description. If you go to helixsleep.com slash Gretchen, you'll get 20% off your new mattress plus two free pillows. I have to show you the one I was fixing <laughs> earlier. This is the one that Max and I have been liking sleeping with the most. Helix Sleep pillows are, I feel like, don't get the hype they deserve. They are so comfy. We love sleeping with these. The big fluffy king ones are so good. So again, Kicksleep.com slash Gretchen for 20% off a mattress and two free pillows. Link down below. Now I'm really gonna have trouble getting up. <laughs> Brody, <laughs> we have to get up and start our day. <laughs> if you're not gonna, how am I supposed to? It's later. We're going to run some errands. I just had deja vu because I thought I showed you guys the wallpaper result fully with the new nightstands, but I didn't. I was just taking pictures and videos on my phone. So I still have to show you, but it's like so dreary. 
like all day it seemed like dark like it's almost like the sun's gonna set but it's just like really dark out you know so it'll probably be dark when we get back but maybe i'll show you in the morning or something anyway turned out cute i'm liking the wallpaper more with the nightstands do you think me too and those nightstands like secretly drove me nuts that they were different colors like i don't think anyone really noticed like mm -hmm. you think our guests noticed or you think i don't think so Maybe they did and just did, were being nice and didn't say anything. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, now we're gonna run errands. And yeah, I think we're just gonna go to see this Target. CVS, lovely as always. That was like quick and easy. It was. What you got over there? A scratch, a pimple? Uh, one or the other. <laughs> a bug bite? No. Who are you picking at? Maybe an ingrown hair, possibly. On that, oh, that ow. Beard. That looks painful. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ow, I see that. That's probably hard to tell if it's an ingrown mm. hair or a pimple with yeah. a beard. Okay, you guys want a haul from CBS? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Ooh, okay, we need to talk about this. We fly. We still toothpaste. have one at home. We're not flying through anything. How fast do you think we go through two tubes? Like Two weeks. Yeah, one a week. We, fl like, I don't use that much toothpaste when I brush my teeth. I'm fine with, like, a little, little pea size amount. Like, that's what, how you how you learn to brush your teeth. Like, pea size amount. Max, like, loads it up. Like, likes a I lot. I like a lot. <laughs> so, we fly, and I'm like, when I have a tube, that lasts me, like, a month. I'm good. A month or two. Yeah, but, but also, when I get down to the end, I don't fight with it. I can put it in your drawer and let <laughs> you do it. I wrestle with it at the end. That's half the fun of toothpaste too, is wrestling with it at the end. Mm -hmm. but Max goes through it, he's very, he generously uses his toothpaste. Is that, is that what it's called? He gives it a generous dollop of toothpaste. On it. Anyway, so I feel like I'm buying toothpaste every gosh dang day. Sponsor me, Crest, we're your number one fan deodorant that's another thing i feel like he buys every week like anytime i'm going to see mr target I'm like need something he's like oh yeah i'm like almost on my deodorant can you get it well it's okay. better than oh, not using it <laughs> so there you go no but i feel like you how fast do you think you go through a stick because i think you go through I one don't know. in like a week or two maybe. you must put on a lot i swear maybe this is gross but i swear my deodorant lasts i also a year. shower a lot during the day so then you always put it on after you shower yeah. Well, here's a question. Except for at night. I was gonna say at nighttime after you shower, do yeah, you put no. it on? No. But like in the morning or during the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lastly in our hall, Max and I were talking about how did this come up? We we're talking about Sydney. Sydney's teeth. Sydney, shout out. If you're watching this, we are saying your teeth are so white. Were we this is a conversation we had at her brunch today after because we were mm -hmm. like your teeth are looking so good. Yep. And then from there where we like were inspired we want I think so. <laughs> like, I've never done those. Let's try them. <laughs> oh, and then I was like, I don't know if I can handle it. I remember doing them in college and waking up in the night like crying. My teeth hurt so bad. But that was so many years ago. So we're going to give them a try. Well, these are probably the strongest ones if I had to guess. Which we should have gotten like, oh, they might make like sensitive ones. No, well, they had slim pickings in there. I know. They only had to go now we're about to go to Target. We probably should have looked there. Oh, whatever. But they had like 12 levels whiter regular 18 levels whiter so of course we're like let's get like the really white one. yeah okay. but you know what i just thought of too but it's okay it's in the back how <laughs> y'all have an implant in the back mm. my fake tooth mm -hmm. when i do the white strips i don't think it'll whiten that one so then the other ones will become whiter than the implant no, well, but luckily it's that. in the back you know what one's fake you can tell by the top it looks kind of honey oh yeah can you tell? Yeah. It looks kind of like metal at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just dark. Yeah. That one, I think, it feels yeah. funny. Yeah. Some of teeth. <laughs> but you. <laughs> some of there, some of this one. <laughs> some of here, some of there. But also, oh my god, that's actually really weird looking. Oh, that's food up there. Oh, <laughs> ew, what? <laughs> I thought it looked funny at the top. I think mean, it's like spinning. Okay, but like it does look different, you yeah, know? Yeah. But like, I remember them trying to match. Do I have black? Why do my teeth look funny? <laughs> but okay, I like we're going to be using these. <laughs> I think my teeth have gotten more yellow over time because I used to not drink coffee. I think mm -hmm. my eye was always known for having really white teeth. But then I started drinking coffee. So I think these will help. Yeah, I think so. All right, okay, next stop. Morning, you guys. 
just made the yummiest breakfast. I did a little bar class this morning, if you saw. And I have been loving this. I made this the other day. Like, what's this called? Not Oak. steamed. No, the kale. Like, um, oh. sauteed, I guess. Kale. Like, just cooked kale and tomatoes in the pan. Poached some eggs, some avocado. Baked some sweet potato. We also had some prosciutto. I didn't do that before, but I threw that on there. Hummus. I know it sounds weird, but it's so good. And I made one for Max, too, because he hasn't had it yet. And I was, like, raving about it. I'm just going to do a little... Flaky sea salt. It was really good when I did lemon the other day, but we don't have that. But this will be so yum. It's kind of like a lot going on. The hummus will be enough of like a sauce. But yeah, yeah, this has been my fave recently. Oh, and poaching the eggs is a little difficult. I messed up my first one. It's in like a mm -hmm. crumble, but they turned out pretty good, I will great. say. I was smart to grab truff. I might even like cover this in truff. It'll be so good. Okay, let's try um. this. You think? Is this like too much with truff too? <clears throat> Just putting it everywhere. Ooh. Are we in a fight? No. <laughs> <laughs> the home projects really just <laughs> take the best out of you. I don't know the phrase. <laughs> Bring out the worst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're inspired, you guys, by all our home things. That I've been wanting to hang this black mirror that we've had forever here. It sat in our garage for like a year and a half. I've wanted to hang it up here. Don't even look at how dirty that is. Zach Bryan, hang on. <laughs> He's singing. <laughs> and we've been measuring and measuring and measuring, but I just really want to be sure because we're drilling holes in the wall for drywall anchors. So that's what's happening currently. Close enough. Good thing we got our nice new putting mat. This is how we've been measuring an old hockey stick. Uh huh. Now you want to be friends, huh? <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know if that's right. Like, what? What? Yeah, your tone was not very nice. Why? Why are you doing? I can't see. I'm I'm at an angle like this. I can't tell if it's straight. And you're behind me going, mm mm, no, down, mm mm, no. This is such a cute mirror pick spot. You're gonna want to get the that's just one. Okay, not one. Oh. That's good now. Okay, we did our best. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yay! That looks great right there. Woo! Okay. Right? You know, I think it, it does it looks, up this uh, crooked because I think the vent is it's crooked. crooked. <laughs> well, the mirror is But that crooked. looks perfect. Wait, no. The vent, you just want to go like this. Well, <laughs> Are you going to try to change it a little? <laughs> Holy. It hangs off the wall. Just a little bit. <laughs> it could be because that one hook is bent. Yeah, and the wall might not be even, and the mirror itself might be bent. So there's a lot of what? variables here. But I'd say we did pretty good. Looks great. Okay, I tidied a little bit, and here we are. I'm so glad that we hung this, decided to put it here. We kind of centered it like over here. I wish it could cover that bent, but that's probably not smart. So we didn't center it on this wall because... Especially like I always do the little bar workouts here like you guys saw earlier. So the mats here and I'm like this will be helpful. I can like see my form. All that type of stuff. I feel like it also just kind of opens the space nicely. And we're just sitting around our, our garage so I'm happy we finally hung it. It's always a process. It's always like harder than you think when you're gonna mount a mirror or a picture or a TV or something like that. But I'm really glad we did it. I don't know how I convinced Max to help me. I'm like, we just gotta keep the momentum going with these home projects. I'm like, oh, wallpaper, you're still feeling handy? Okay, now we got a big, huge, heavy mirror to hang. This is so heavy. So I actually do feel better. We thought that one side, because we needed two, like there's two little hooks kind of on the back of the mirror. We thought one by the outlet was gonna hit the stud, but it missed the stud, but I'm actually happy we did. So we didn't have to do a wood screw. We just did two drywall anchors, which makes me feel better that they're both like anchored on there because it's such a heavy mirror and I don't want it coming down if someone like knocks into it. So, yay. Project number two, done. Do you have another project we could do? Maybe I'll convince Max later tonight. I'm like, this is so much fun. And he said, I think we have different ideas of fun. <laughs> okay, this is what we got going up here, tidying. See, it's hard because all the workout stuff I just shoved right here, because like I actually come up here and do workouts often. 
so yeah <laughs> we do and i don't even know i have talked about this we do really want to do a garage gym it's more of like a long-term thing because we got a lot of stuff in there first so we gotta clean out but i would love to do that but still even if we had like garage gym like weight rack in there treadmill bike all that type of stuff i still feel like i would come up here and use it as like a bar studio because it's just like perfect and it's so bright and fun and i just love starting my mornings up here okay for the rest of up here oh this is a new addition uh, guys max has not gamed in like maybe three or four years and he's newly back into it with that what's it called I want to say college football game, but this has been a fun little setup. He'll be like, oh, I'm going to head up, play little video games, and he just like sits here. And, yeah, so he's been doing that, so this is um, beautiful. But that's really nice that he moved his little golf thing. I was like, here, look, that looks like a perfect corner for it. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not as cute things hidden in like every corner. But you know what, whatever. It's functional for us, it's fine. So all that's folded up over there. Then this is like the next project, guys. I got these maybe almost a year ago now, and I was all excited. Okay, see there's a little bit of an issue to hang them in our bathroom. And basically we were like, oh, let's work smarter, not harder. They have these same little like hooks on the back that are really hard and a pain in the neck. Just like how we did with that mirror, you have to hang, like you have to do, get two screws like perfectly level, even the right distance to hang them. And so then we were like, oh, we'll just do like the picture hanging wire, hang it across. We did that and then it, the pictures themselves are pieces of art are like too heavy and it ripped this right off the back. So yeah, that's fun. But I feel like we could use different screws, put it in a different part of the frame. I don't know, this has been sitting here for like months now because we just kind of gave up. But there are these like pretty like shell photos that would be so cute in our bathroom. So maybe if Max is feeling brave later, we can attend. He's gonna be like, I'm done with you. <laughs> but that's what we've got going on up here. At least over here is looking cute. This is where Brody comes to lay every day. And guests stay up here sometimes in this day bed. It's funny because we always used to have it pushed in. And now I think we just keep it pulled out because people stay up here actually quite a lot. So yeah, I don't even know if I've said, but my mom, sister, cousin Mandy, and Aunt Chris are all actually coming in two days? Tomorrow? Two days from now? I forget. What day is it? If it's Wednesday, I think they're coming tomorrow night. Thursday night? I think that sounds right. Or Friday. No, I think they're coming Thursday night. Anyway, <laughs> I'm the worst host. I'm like, when are they coming again? But yeah, so this is good. I'm sure one of them will stay up here. I could make the pillows cuter. It just kind of got thrown together last time. Max <laughs> and I do so much laundry for our guest beds and are always like remaking them up whenever people come. They leave, we like wash our dryer, have our old routine, put it back together as quick as we can. So yeah, and a bunch of blankets are like messily thrown over here, but looking good, doing great. This is the update up here. I'm really liking this. Like this is cute. And this is so fun for like mirror pictures up here now. Like really we did this for mirror pictures. Thanks Max. Okay, since I'm stubborn and can't let things go, I am <laughs> just screwing it in in a different part of the frame that we didn't break. Hopefully we can do this later. You know, I just am done. I feel like whenever I set up the camera and I'm filming something, I'm like running around tidying, like, oh my gosh, there's like laundry drying in the back and whatever. What you see is what you see. <laughs> Too bad is what it is, ripping around. There's probably like boxes over there that open. It's gonna be something. Now I'm nervous that you're watching and I'm the audience. Okay, we did it. Is it tight? I think so. Good enough. Whew, okay. Hopefully we get these hung later. When I get my mindset on the home projects, I can't let it go. Who remembers last summer? I think I vlogged the day. I literally ran around and hung like 10 mirrors and pictures and stuff that we had been wanting to hang. And I was here alone and I was like, I'm just gonna figure it out. And I mounted that huge Ikea floor like mirror upstairs. I just get stuck in my legs. Oh my God, my dry freaking red skin is so bad it's a whole other thing i can't even that jersey nut that looks so bad at first i thought it was like eczema which kind of looks like that or even like acne or something but it's just really dry red irritated skin finally got an appointment at a dermatologist here it's been a long journey because the first one was like not accepting new patients and then had to get a referral to a new one and then finally on their schedule in like september anyway i'm just really yapping this vlog huh is it working yep what do you think what do I think about what? 
I got the, oh, I turned it around. Oh. I got the new, the hook on there, the new spot. Great. Right. See, imagine I did it upside down or something. Yeah. I did it. Good job. You put up with a lot, huh? No, not me. <laughs> okay, you guys, just realized, still Ooh. haven't given you Ooh. the full review. There we go. Wow. Actually, it looks really good from back here. It it does. And when I come up the stairs and I look over, I'm like, this looks good. I probably could like make this blanket cuter, but whatever. Yeah, from far away, the Ooh. wallpaper is good. Up close, it's not good. Max built these Who put nice those little cabinets together. And you did such a good job, and I love them. Now they match. They're the same color. I actually really like them. Me too. They're from Nathan James, because you guys are wondering, I can link. Mm -hmm. And, oh, is that what they're called? Yep. Sweet. We could, you know, I worry that there's storage in there. I'm gonna start putting stuff in there. No, you're not allowed. Our guests can find I know, this is the one spot they get. They're like, oh, do we get like drawers in the dresser? I'm like, no, 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 it's full. <laughs> but this is the overview. She's looking cute. At first I didn't like the blue floral sheets with the wallpaper. But I don't really mind it, but I also feel like plain white bedding could work now or like light blue sheets or something. Maybe I'll like switch it up a bit. Also feel like the rug, now it's just like a lot of blue. I could also like swap out the rug. I'm literally the craziest rug lady, but it's like looking cute in here. I like it. It's looking good. I sent my mom a picture. I said, your room's gotten an upgrade. My mom always stays in this Whoa. one. This is her favorite. What? Oh, that was always there. What? Did I, you thought think you it hung, wasn't? I thought you hung, just hung that. No, that was always <laughs> that was always there. But here's how she looks, looking cute. Ooh, that feels good. You keep on doing it. He's just rubbing my shoulders. You go, right. Finn. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. Don't mind him wearing the same sweatshirt I was wearing yesterday. We still have to wait in our teeth. Maybe later. Oh yeah, let's do it tonight. That'll be fun. <laughs> what did you guys hear? Max is just going, bye Brody, wherever you are. Bye Brody, wherever you are. Bye Brody, wherever you are. <laughs> okay, now I really like it in here. Now I want all paper in other rooms. But maybe I, I should have showed you the up close, the bet. Maybe I just shouldn't. The seams are overlapping a little bit. This isn't good. Don't even look close at the edge. That is so bad. Um, We cut it too short. So that's our fault. We thought we gave ourselves enough of a little margin of error and we didn't. Probably because these are overlapping over here, but it's just hard to not, yeah. So we kind of went for the textured look, but like honest to God, it kind of goes with the flow of the wallpaper. So it's really not bad from far away, but yeah, we'll see if anyone that stays in here notices. <laughs> it's the next morning. I thought we could in this vlog, cause I feel like I've been yapping so much this vlog, um, waning my teeth. I wanted to do it with Max last night i wanted to do it together uh and then we did it so i figured i could do it right here now for you Let's see if i can open it with my tweezers i'm so nervous about these making my teeth sensitive i forget if max and i were saying this in the car or did someone else tell me this i hope i'm not repeating myself but it kind of sounds smart i don't know if he told me i always forget who tells me what i heard somewhere that or maybe he said that it's a good idea you can do instead of the strip like all the way in the front of your teeth and then wrap around underneath that you can just cut it and just do it on the front and that'll make it less sensitive which is so smart because I think it's so sensitive because it's on the like the whitening is on the front and the back but like underneath who cares what color there because like no one can see it anyway but I'm just gonna do normal Shitty. um full kit peel apply reveal upper okay so one of these has an upper and a lower, I believe. Oh, there it is, food in my teeth. Cool, that is a blueberry. Please hold. <laughs> there we go, I'm nervous. I've been telling these like literally since college. But I know I said this in the car, guys. I swear to God, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and like crying. That's how sensitive my teeth were from losing me. I got dry off all before. I've done this in so long. I also feel like I used to get so many compliments. Like, Gretchen, your teeth are so wet. What do you do for your teeth? I never get those anymore. <laughs> But see, I think the difference is I didn't drink coffee my whole life. Totally going out of college when I started dating Max. And then I left my teeth are less white from drinking so much coffee. 
at the same rate the coffee like stained your teeth i think <laughs> like i gotta document this it's so beautiful okay Woo. okay and that's gonna i think they stay on pretty good okay then we're gonna do the bottom i also remember you guys probably can't know this or tell maybe you look close you can see i do have um some like spots on the my uh maybe just my one front tooth or like two front teeth and they are like when my teeth was formed from what i know from my dentist since lucy and i were such early preemies our teeth weren't really formed and lucy's were like less formed than me she has like has always had bad enamel on her teeth i think from being preemies and so she always had to do like the special enamel toothpaste and always got more cavities and whatever but i think from it we have like certain like spots on our teeth from how they were formed so i feel like whenever i do the white strips it makes it look like blotchy almost like it white in the spots or does i don't know if it makes sense but then i feel like it always like so i'm scared that when i take it off they're gonna be like blotchy but then i feel like they always like even out a little oh you know what though i would love to just do the front like i said but it's like how they stay in your mouth it's like wrapped around like that's how they like stay on there okay See ya in 45 minutes. Use once per day, 45 minutes. Discomfort, you may experience tooth sensitivity or gum discomfort. Maybe I will um, go every other day or every couple days to see, but see you in 45 minutes for an update. <laughs> been 45 minutes, I think. Probably should have done even less because they already are feeling like, and I feel like they're gonna be real sensitive. Oh, they like really are stuck on there. Okay, oh, that looks like a piece of food. <laughs> he and I got pushed. Okay, can I like eat or drink or wash my mouth or something? It's best if you do not brush your teeth immediately before applying strips. Saying about eating or drinking. Oh, but I wanna like rinse my mouth out. Are you guys in terms of like bleach? Like, I don't really know. Do they look whiter? Might also be like in my head. They feel weird like after you get your braces off and you're like, <laughs> you know? Anyway, okay. I'm gonna go on my teeth whitening journey, I believe. So if you guys are like, wow, Gretchen, your teeth are looking white. You know, see, we really should have gotten like sensitive ones or something. I just know these are about to be like the bane of my existence. Knock on wood. I'm not trying to like manifest in the worst way possible, but I think they're about to, they're about to hurt. Okay. Ending off this vlog here. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I was like, I have to document my teeth whitening. And that was like literally the most not exciting. But love you guys. Thank you for watching this vlog. Got the new wallpaper going. I'm like, everyone, they're like, it looks amazing. I'm like, yeah, I don't like tooth clothes. But maybe it'll drive me nuts one day and I'll hire someone to fix it. But God, I like told everyone, I'm like, I just feel like I hire someone to do everything around here. And I feel almost like incompetent that I'm like, need help from landscapers or need do you know what i mean i don't know this is like so niche if you're a homeowner i'm like i want to be able to be like oh i did that like dia or like i worked hard like i did so i was like this is the one thing it says like you can do it at home i'm like if it says you can do like max we can figure this out like i'm gonna be so proud like i'll be like, yeah like, we did that come to find out it's literally the hardest thing in the world i'm like gosh dang it the one time i don't hire someone for help but yeah, it'll be great. I actually got funny DMs from you guys being like in comments, being like, oh, this is like the true test of marriage. Actually, my mom was saying that too. I didn't even know that. She was saying that her and my dad, right after they got married, were like wallpapering the dining room and of course like fighting with each other and everyone's like, wallpapering our room together is like really a test to your marriage or relationship. Like everyone just fights and if you can get through wallpapering our room together, you have anything, so. <laughs> Probably a good test of Max and I only pick it a little. <laughs> I'm like, it's so funny. We never fight at all. And then we do a home project together. And then we're like, ah, how can you not see you're doing it wrong? <laughs> okay, anyway, love you guys. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'll see you next time. Bye.